Well, here I am just parking up the Vicon and um, I'm going to put the barrel weight in here. There we go. Now, um, I have the other Ford hooked up to the slurry tanker because despite saying, oh, I'm not going to slurry tank all of this, I decided, well, it's free fertilizer and right now we only have $20,000. So if I don't slurry tank it and I used a fertilizer spreader, we're going to be in even worse shape. So I'm thinking that the smart thing to do is to go ahead and put in the time to slurry tank it all. Get rid of these two. So that and that. Okay. So now we got forty-five thousand dollars. I believe the case is yep, fifty-three thousand. So yeah. Um, everyone who said, "Oh yeah, hit the end key for the finances," doesn't work for whatever reason here in um, Kansas. I don't know why, but that's okay because the finances is right around the corner here. I'm going to go ahead and poll. Um, let's see. I figure it's going to cost us about 20 grand to sew. Eh, 10 grand to sew. So I need about 10 for the case. And. Uh, derp. Harvest. Nope. Front loaders, harvesters. And 40 for that. So I need about 50,000. So we're going to make it insurance. We're going to call it 60,000. So we're going to go ahead and oop, borrow $60,000. We're going to go ahead and buy our corn head. And we're going to go ahead and buy our new tractor. Go. Oop, wrong way. Keep going. There we go. So now we've got our new case tractor that everyone wanted me to get. All right, nice, nice case. So we're going to go ahead and take it immediately out and start it working. Because, uh, you know, that, that's what you do, right? You immediately take your tractor out and start working it. And we're going to go over here and we're going to work the um, the uh, corn. And I think we're going to start on the far side of the field. Go. Actually looks decent behind there. <laughs> it doesn't look out of place like um, like you would expect on like the Fords. Nice. Very nice. Okay, so we're going to come over here. Line him all up. Alright, let's hire him. Yes, I own that field. Go away. <laughs> Alright, we're going to let him work at that speed for now. Because I need to fertilize more of the field. That's still working over there. Yeah, once once I started thinking about it, I realized it's going to cost me a fortune to get that field all seeded. And if I were also to fertilize the field, um, well, I'd be in trouble, I think. And this is a $75,000 piece of equipment we bought. <clears throat> we might as well make good use out of it. slow. We're very slow, mind you, but, you know, what are you going to do? Now, someone did suggest I get the Volvo self-propelled slurry tanker. Yes, that would, that would rectify at least the need for the tractor, but its spread range is much smaller than the spread range on, on this, uh, on this Garrett. And my, my issue with it is then I'm going to have to make more trips 
um, or not more trips to the story farm, but more trips up and down these big fields. So really, in in the case of dealing with these giant fields like this, there's really no replacement for the Garrett. Um, for a little bit, I want you to go straight back, please. Slight angle is fine. That's good. All right. All right. Let's slurry. Yeah, those of you that were like, "Oh, he's as he's as full of poop as his trailer," saying that he's not going to do that field. Yeah, you were right. In the end, it's cheaper. And and now that we're in the in the hole to the tune of sixty thousand um, dollars. Every every penny counts. And I don't think we would have been any better off not buying this. Because um, we still would have had to fertilize all the fields. I, I don't I don't think we would have come out ahead. And done with that. Now let's run up here. I had these few little spots I've missed. I'm not gonna bother with them. They're short enough, small enough. What I lose and yield on these small little areas isn't worth the loss of slurry to slurry just that small little area. We'll speed the case up after a little bit. But it does, it looks like it's it's proper size to to run that cedar and it honestly we should have one running this garret because oh my goodness this garret looks a bit a uh, bit oversized with the forward iron let's back up other way a little bit more the other way go whoop 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 there we go <laughs> uh there perfect Go. Yummy slurry. <laughs> the nice thing is, because you do a, uh, a, a, a path and a piece, so because it doesn't take an entire Garrett tank to do one pass, because I'm actually able to do part of another pass, means after so many passes, you actually, you're, you're coming out a little bit ahead, which is nice. We're going to end up not quite all the way, I don't think, on this pass. Should be okay, though, I think, I hope. There we go. So, yeah, we've definitely a, a, a different, different set of episodes. Um, different set of episodes because we are not doing any harvesting. We're just prepping for harvest. And what I think I will do, and you guys tell me what you think about this. I will, I, I can do one of two things. I can either harvest next week on screen, or I can harvest off screen bunker it all and be ready to do something else on screen um, cultivating and planting and um, depending on money cows maybe you can buy some cows and start working on cows um, you guys let me know what you think um, I'm really open to whatever uh, I do hope that we'll be able to, uh, before our our season is up, that we'll be able to get some solar panels in here. With cows, we'll be able to get some, some greenhouses in. I'm still, I mean, I looked at cows. The bargain basement for the cows. Because I have the straw mod, that allows me to rent my baling equipment. The bargain basement for the cows is about seventy-five thousand for um, a mower, a tether, a 
mower, a tether, a wind rower, and uh, the the feeding trailer thing. I think that's that's what I I reasoned out because I can't use the kid to mow it it'll turn it into to chop so I need to be able to mow it to create hay bales I can get the straw off my wheat barley field and yeah I can get the straw off my wheat barley field so that's that's really the, the easiest is just to have to put in the money for the feeding equipment the feeding trailer have to put in the money for the wind rower and the tether and the mower. Um, which at that point I, I almost question whether I shouldn't oops, shouldn't just uh, buy the baling equipment. But I need to buy two balers and then we're talking an easy 200 plus thousand just for balers. And this this huge area of grass here, perfect. We can just mow it, ted it, wind row it. And we'll have our hay. Get our straw off of that field. And then, then we should be okay on cows. Just having to watch them. I don't know. I gotta think about it. It, it is another huge capital investment. And we're already in debt. <laughs> so, uh, and we keep going back into debt. Because I make stupid decisions. But, what are you gonna do? Someone who, who wanted me to do potatoes, yeah, not not probably going to happen. Um, maybe we'll, we'll do that next time. We'll, we'll next next season, depending on where we end up, we might might do potatoes or something potato-ish. Maybe we'll go get an Irish farm map. And we can do potatoes. Well, that was wrong on some levels. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, get around here. See, we almost made this row. Almost. Almost only counts in horseshoes, hand grenades, and nuclear war. And go. Go. Yay for poo fertilizer. I guess the spread is actually about that of a regular fertilizer spreader. It's just that back and forth because it doesn't carry a lot. And go. The case is somewhere. <laughs> somewhere over the hills. And how many passes is this? I think this is four passes, so we're halfway there, I think. I think we counted eight, right? Oh, I've done forgotten. Nope, I see the the line coming down the hill indicating that he's seated. Good. Good, good, good. So this will all be corn an idea of what kind of corn yield we get. And we'll just direct sell the corn. I'm not going to silage the corn. That's that's a four hundred thousand dollar piece of equipment. I'm not about to go there. So thinking about it, that's what I could use that little field for if I needed silage for the cows. Though I have plenty of straw for that. Huh. I don't know. I just don't know. Just trying to, just trying to make it. Just trying to make it. Yeah, I think, I think I've talked myself into getting cows. It's just a matter of getting all of the equipment together to do that. And stop. All right. Looks like we got what. Four more passes? Ugh, four more passes. Run out here in a moment. That's not too bad, though. Yeah. 
Yeah, I guess. <laughs> One, two, three, four more passes to go. That's a, that's a lot of back and forth, really. Oh, so next week is E3. We'll get to see... Microsoft promised us some uh, some games for their new Xbox One, so we get to see if they can deliver on that promise. And I do wonder if Sony's going to come out with anything. And we'll see... Um, We'll also see, of course, what uh, what computer games come out. Oh, someone asked in the comments uh, last week. They, they asked, what is PAX? Because I keep talking about PAX. Uh, PAX is the Penny Arcade Expo. It's, hmm, well, the two expos together. PAX Prime, which is where we're, we're going in Seattle, and PAX East, which is in Boston, um, together are... are two of the biggest game shows outside of E3 uh, in the United States. Takes over a good huge chunk of uh, downtown Seattle. And it's not just a, like E3 you go to all the booths. The E3 is like um, any other convention. You're going to all these booths and, and these unveilings of games and things like that. But PAX has more than that because PAX has things like um, the Omegathon, where where you can can uh, prove your chops against other gamers. Um, when you buy your PAX badge, you can say, "Oh, I want to be an Omega Knot." Uh, I am not going to be an Omega Knot because you all see how I play games. I don't do very well, uh, but you can go and competitively play against others. There's conferences all all day for all four days. Uh, you can go to the various conferences to discuss all kinds of things. Um, last time that, that me and Doss went was when Skyrim was just getting ready to come out and we saw a, a um, exclusive trailer, exclusive new trailer, gameplay trailer from Skyrim. Um, and we got some swag. We got actually a lot of swag. Uh, which is cool. We'll see what we can do, come away with this year. Um, and, and you get to you get a lot of hands-on time with games that that aren't out yet. Uh, I got hands-on time with Forza 4 when when we went last time. Uh, even then, I was sort of iffy about it, but eh. and it's not just video games either. That's the best part about PAX. Like we're most of us are are nerds at heart. We're we're just pure nerds. Uh, and we've done we played all kinds of things. Well. There's tabletop gaming at PAX. There's D and D in across the street from the convention center in the basement. There, there's a D and D hall. There's a Magic the Gathering tournament. There's uh, just basically anything a nerd could want. <laughs> pretty much is at PAX. Um, though I, I did notice kind of a dearth of computers. It's, it's main, it heavily leaning towards consoles, but. That's probably just by virtue of the market in the United States. So. There to be. Go. Go. And there we go. Oh, and, and at PAX, we'll, me and Doss will be doing... Um, we can't live stream because that's actually um, you have to buy the rights to that, and that that's not happening. Um, but we are going to put up videos like quick hits, um, or try to, depending on hotel internet connection. Uh, quick hits on what what we've seen or reactions to things, and, and then we'll put out more videos the week after. So you'll you'll get to see sort of our. I call it in scare in quotes live at PAX, um, but it's not really going to be live either way. So we've just about finished. Well, 
That's a lie. We haven't just about finished. We're, we're getting close to finishing <laughs> this field with the uh, liquid manure. Which is nice. Nice free fertilizing. Well, free. We worked hard for it. And off. Turn around, turn around. It was a terrible song. All right, and go. Um, I promise tomorrow's uh, simulator Sunday is not. I know oh, I can't do that actually. I don't. I haven't. I haven't recorded it yet. I'm like I hope it's not as bad as last week's. Oh my goodness, winemaker. It's a terrible, terrible game. Uh, and yes, I did buy it. I mean that. that how I got it. I buy some of this stuff because I hope that it might be inter interesting and in that case it was not. It was terrible. Um, but it saves you guys from buying some games that are terrible. Oh, oh, oh. Don't do that. There we go. So That's always good. And we're going to be running out here of poo here in a second. Here, we'll get more poo. Two, one, and out. All right. Well, you know what I think I'm going to do? We're going to let him finish. There you are. Faster tractor. Oh. Faster tractor. Faster tractor? Oh, okay. Nice. They actually tagged it onto the, the zoom keys. That's nice. Alright. Hopefully that'll that'll sort of be okay. I hope. He might catch up to us, but if he does, I'll slow him back down, I guess. We'll, we'll try to get this field finished. Yeah, so something different. No harvesting, just prepping fields. Ugh, three more passes. Three more. This will get me down and partially back. So really, I think, I think, I hope, I hope, two trips. I hope. This is a long trips over to the to the slurry warehouse. Once we get all of it planted, we can speed up time and get money off the windmill. Chickens. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I do wish this was closer, or maybe that I could get a... I don't know. I don't think the nurse tank from uh, the Abbey pack would work with this thing, because where does the poo go in? You have to hook up pipes into the side of the poo, I guess. Poo pumping. Whoa. Whoa. What did we get stuck on? What the... Okay, game. What what's going on here? Close. Okay. What in the world? All right, let's try over here a little bit. Okay. Come on. We can get it through. No? What is it stuck on? Let's... Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop freaking out. Calm yourself. Fine, we'll go in the other way. Man. Temperamental so-and-so. That was weird. Crap. 
crazy game. Alright, let's go in here then. Open sesame! What the... Okay, let's go. Oh, Kidoki, I think it thinks that those are still unfolded. Or, yeah. Let's do this. Okay, let's go ahead and open her up. Now it's closed because we tabbed out while it was closing. Bet you it bugged because of that. And close. Now let's go. Yep, that's exactly what it did. It bugged because we tabbed out of it while it was closing. So the game was showing it closed, but was still open. Alright. Lesson learned. Lesson learned. Alright, how's the case doing? Just peachy. Zoom. Yeah, he's gonna catch up to us. We full yet? No. But I think I was right on the, uh, the cost, because coming down below 13,000, well, we're down below 13,000 already. Nine and a hundred percent. Yay! All right, so lesson learned. When you're folding something up, do not tab out of it, or the game will not understand that you have completed whatever folding you've attempted to do. Lessons learned. Uh, windmill. Generating money. Oh man, we'd be hurting if that thing wasn't generating money. Yeah. All right, what do we got? What did, what did we what did we speculate? We had two more loads worth of poo to run. I think that's what we speculated. Yeah, I think it's going to be a little bit more than that. Unfortunately. Let's get you lined up. Right like so. That was perfect. A little bit far, a little bit too far into the uh, already pooed area, but there we go. Perfect. Now we're just rolling. As we can stay ahead of the case, we'll be... Well, it doesn't really matter one way or the other. Here he comes down the hill. Zoom. Super speed. <laughs> Rocket propelled. Rocket propelled. Let's get... Oh, we're going to leave a strip. Uh... Oh well. Whatever. Whatever. All right, let's get ready to turn it off. Off. Just kind of go out a little bit because might as well just kind of get this upper area turn on. Yeah, well, you know, we might be okay. Now, if I remember correctly, I can fold up the blades on this thing. Little wings, and I can just jet out the back. Which is useful for covering small areas. So we're about to find out how small of an area we're talking about here. Alright, I think, I'm hoping, that I don't need the whole thing for this. 
So we're gonna find out here in a moment. Cat scratching. Hmm. Oh, it's just a little bit too small. Oh, so close. Oh well. We'll just use the whole thing. There we go. I wish it would unfold faster. Back this guy up a little bit. Whoa. There we go. Two. Let's go. We'll poo the road a little bit. Nothing they can do about it. Yeah, I think we're, we'll do. We'll get one more run back to the poo shed, and then we'll have this field done. The case will be working up to finish the corn. We got our corn head. We just have to go pick it up. And um, yeah. I think we've done really well. I hope you guys enjoyed the change of pace, switching it off the harvest as requested um, to do something a little bit different. And yes, I've talked myself into cows. I'll be I'll be looking at cows once we once we pay off our loan and uh, stabilize our income a little bit higher. Someone told me you need to just run the game for a night with the windmill. That just feels like cheating. It really does. I know I could make a bank doing that. But it just, it feels like cheating. So we're not going to do that. Go pick up our last load of poo. Slurry the field up. And then the case should be pretty close to finishing around the same time. Or shortly thereafter anyway. Put up all of our toys. Um, I'll probably, I will do the silage off screen once it's done cooking. Um, no reason for you to watch that, especially with the 5,000 liter bucket I've got. Um, it's just going to be painful. So, <laughs> no reason to do that. Um, and while I'm doing it, if a great demand shows up for barley, I'm just going to sell it. And, uh, and call it good. And of course, we'll have the windmill running. You guys are going to tell me what do you do? You want to? Uh, do you want me to go ahead and harvest the corn? And um, do you want me to go ahead and harvest the corn and the wheat and bunker the the straw now, or do you want to? see one or the other. Um, I can harvest the wheat off screen and hover, harvest the corn on screen or whatever. Um, whatever I harvest I will bunker. I will not sell it. So um, you won't you won't miss out on on how much I have put together. And um, yeah, you guys let me know what you think about that. We've got our last load of of the smelly stuff to spray all over the field. Go. Um, a reminder also, you guys had the whole week of Farming Simulator Mod Spotlight, well, Farming Simulator Award Show for Season 2. So next week there is not going to be a Farming Simulator Mod Spotlight, it's going to be a week of Flight Simulator. Uh, I say that and I'm thinking there might be a special, there might be a special, don't, don't get upset if there's no special, I don't know yet, but there might be a special somewhere in there, um, it'll be at a, at a weird time and probably on a weird day. But then things should, I hope, get back to normal uh, in two weeks and we will start season three. Um, in a completely different map, since the Hag that Hagenstadt save game just went nutso. Um, I, d I don't want to use it anymore, and uh, I have to figure out where I'm going. Go. 
and go. Yay, last bit. Oh yeah, that case isn't going to be done by the time we're done. Okay, cool. So there we go, those are our plans. You guys let me know what you think. Um, hope you're enjoying this Let's Play. I'm enjoying it. I'm, I'm, uh, these fields are just so big. Sometimes you feel extremely overwhelmed. I'm playing on hard mode. Uh, it does make it harder to, to keep money in your pocket. But I like the challenge. So we're almost done here. Where'd that case go? Is he up there? Oh, yep, he's up there. He's on his way back. Zoom. We got our new case. You guys wanted it. I, I pulled a loan out to get it. We're uh, running corn. That was the uh, buying away the consensus to run corn on this field. And so we're doing that. And um, running wheat on the other field. Because then we'll have wheat and barley in the bunker. Um, we did have canola, but of course we had a great demand, so I wasn't going to say no to almost $700 a liter, or I'm sorry, $700 a ton. So that is gone. Uh, all right. Oh, come on. Don't you dare run out before we get to the end of the field. That would just be terrible. Come on. Don't run out. Be like perfect. Run out right as we hit the end. Tension builds. I'm going to make it. Uh, uh, I think we'll make it. Ooh. Oh, it's going to be close. No, it's not. Actually, it's not. Oh, uh, yeah. Three, two. Oh, wow. Yeah. That was close. <laughs> uh, nice. All right. So, again, I'm going to do the silage off screen. The case is going to finish with the corn. We got wheat on the other field. Um. You guys let me know, should I harvest off screen and just show you the results? Do you want to see both harvests? Do you want to see one harvest and me doing something else? I am going to go in the direction of cows, but we have to get there first. I am. I, my preference would be to pay cash for the cow equipment. Um, and it is 2000 a cow, so I have to save up money for the actual bovine. Hopefully, most of that money is going to come out of the, the silage. So, yeah, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to fill this up so we have a full tank. There we go. So, yes, until next time, it's been Derek Tebbers, playing Farming Simulator 2013 here in Central Kansas. Bye.